Hi, welcome back to Sports Delight. Tonight I'm going to show you a game called Dolores. This is about Her Majesty's ship Dolores. It's a little card game. It comes in a very small box that just has a deck of cards and a rule book. It plays two to four in about 20 minutes or so. And the idea in this game is to score victory points. And we're going to do set collection. So basically it's a set collecting game to score the most victory points. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of how this one plays and I'm going to set up a, like a two player game for you uh, to show you this one. Uh, the basic theory is that the Dolores has run aground okay, and all the ship's cargo is rolling ashore and we're a bunch of looters trying to divvy up the spoils and collect the most loot. Each card comes in one of seven different suits or types of good. So here for example we're looking at tableware, here weapons, this one is jewels, here we have gold. Here there's also a bunch of message cards, these are messages in a bottle like and these have special effects on the game. I'll show you those as they come into play in the demo. Now where we're going to score points is you're going to score points for the suit which you have the most points in. So, for example, here we have three points worth of jewels, one, two, three, four points worth of gold, two plus two, and three of laces. Let's actually make that a little bit lower. Let's make that only one of laces. Okay, and at the end of the game you score for your longest suit and your shortest suit. So although there's more cards here, there's fewer points. There's only three here, so it's one, three, four. Okay, two plus two. So we score four points for our longest and then one point for our shortest. Now if we had another lace here, making that four, see three plus one, now we've got two for joint longest. So we would actually score both of them, two plus two, it's four plus one plus three is four. Okay, two joint longest suits of four. It's got eight points, and then our shortest here is three. That would be eleven points in total. And it's even possible if we had one more here that we've got three suits of four. Two plus two, one plus three, and four ones. They're equally both the shortest and the longest. So we'd score all of them for the longest. That would be twelve points. And then all of them for the shortest, another 12 points, 24 points in total. Okay, so there's quite a little bit of tactics here in deciding how you're going to fill out your longest and shortest suits and ideally try and get more than one at the same length so you can score more than one. Okay, that's the basic premise. That's how we score our points. How do we collect these cards? We start the game with a hand of cards. In two player, you start with four cards each. In three player, you start with three cards each, and in a four-player game, only two cards each. And then we have a central deck. Right, let's call this my hand. Okay, so I start off the game, and let's see. Everything's played face up, so nothing's hidden here. So I've got some wine, I've got some musical instruments, and some guns. Okay, one here, three here, one here. Uh, this is the Dawn card. This is going to get shuffled into the bottom 10 cards. And that will signal the end of the game. Okay. Each round, each player is going to have a chance to be a dealer. So we're playing two players here. So let's say I'm the dealer first. What I do is I deal two cards to my opponent, face up and two cards to myself. Now these are cards that are lying on the beach. They are our end of the beach, if you like. Okay. Now we're going to divvy up the loot. And this is gonna use a simple little uh, sharing contest method. And they're using hand signals. It's not quite rock, paper, scissors, but it uses a similar kind of method. All right, so instead of rock, paper, scissors, we're going to have these three signals. We're going to have a flat hand, which is peace. We're going to have a fist, which is war. And then a th thumbs up, which is first dibs. Okay. 
Now, if I choose peace and my opponents choose peace, what we're saying is we're both going to take the cards that are on our side of the beach, all right? The cards that are dealt in front of us. If I say peace and they choose war, I get nothing and they take all four. Okay? If I choose first dibs, then I get to choose one of the four from my side or his side. And if they chose peace, they would get what's remaining on their side. So if I took this one, they would get the one. If I took one from my side, they'd get two. If I did first dibs and they choose war, they would get the remainder of the cards. Okay, so that's the basic premise. Now, there's some conflict to be had. If we both choose war, then all cards get discarded, nobody gets anything. Okay? If we both choose first dibs, first choice, again, all four cards are discarded, and each player has to get rid of one set of goods. Okay? Discard one set of goods, lose them. Now, that's not always a bad thing, because, you know, if I've got a really short suit here and I want to get rid of it, if we both go first choice, we can both get rid of our, first, our shortest suit. So not too bad as it goes. So that's the basic premise. Um, and every turn the dealer passes and we go through our deck and we do this, you know, peace, war, first choice, fight. Okay. Now what's interesting about the game and what sets it a little bit apart is you're not doing this silently. You can negotiate. All right. So we could say to each other, do you know what, I like these two. And this player can say, well, I like those two as well. Let's, let's both agree to do peace. So we both agree to do peace, job done, we take our cards. But you, you don't have to honour an agreement. So a lot of the fun comes from saying, yeah, let's both do peace. So you do peace, and then your opponent does war on you and gets to steal all four, knowing that you're going to do peace. Of course, if you both choose to double cross, you both do war, all four are discarded, no one gets anything. So that's where all the fun is, knowing what your opponent's going to do, try and talk to them and reach agreements and double cross and backstab. Now when you're playing more than two player, this duel of divvying up loose only ever happens between two players and those two players move around the board with the dealer. Okay? So you may form alliances one player so you know that one player always tells the truth and if you agree peace, we'll do peace. If you agree, agree thumbs up, we'll always do thumbs up. Okay? Remember, if you do thumbs up and your opponent does war, they'll take the other three cards that you don't take. All right, if they choose peace, just the ones on their side. Okay? So you may have players that you know you're going to form alliances with and you can trust, and other players who are always dirty double-crossers and you're not going to trust them at all and you might want to put down war. But if you do, then you're both going to lose out and the third or fourth players who are not in the contest may be the ones benefiting because you keep losing out. All right? So there's a lot of strategy and bluffing and counter-bluffing in here. And those kind of, that kind of meta game, I guess you'd say, is a signature of this is a joint design uh, from Bruno Fiduzzi and Eric Lang. So this is set collection and that extra layer of, of rules, that meta game that you would expect from two well respected and experienced game designers. I'm just going to demonstrate how this game plays and I'm going to simulate um, my second opponent. I've just made myself a little die with the different hand signals on it. So I'm going to choose what I want to do and then I'm going to roll for my opponent and obviously there's no double crossing but what I want to do is, is just illustrate this sharing contest and how these different effects work and how the game might play out. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking well the instruments would be good and so would those two crockery. I'm going to go for first choice. I want to grab this, these musical instruments. So I'm going to do this. So we do one, two, three yeah, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, or one, two, three. Yeah, just like rock, paper, scissors. And I'm going to go like this, and my opponent goes like this, and they do first choice as well. So that's two first choices, two thumbs up. All cards are discarded, and we must discard one set of goods. So all these disappear. That backfired. And then I pick one set to chuck away. I'm going to chuck away the weapons, I think. Remember, everyone's cards are face up. Let's have a look at what my opponent's got. Lots of gold. <laughs> oh dear. Four gold. Nice. 
So turn passes, now the turn goes to him. He deals some cards in front of me, and two in front of himself. Well, I definitely want these, so I'm happy to go for peace. Now he might be thinking, yeah, you're going to go peace and take two cards. There's not much chance he's going to agree with me, so I think he's going to double cross me and go war. So, hmm. I don't want to go war as well because then I'll lose everything. If I go first choice, he'll take three cards. Interesting. I think I'll go first choice because that works better for me. So, one, two, first choice, and he goes. Peace. So first choice to me, I get first choice. I'm going to grab these musical instruments and peace, he'll take these two. Okay, this one gets discarded. All right, and that's how it goes on. Turn passes back to me now. So I deal two to him. So we've got wine, and tableware. Ah, a message in a bottle. Now each one of these message in a bottles does different things. For the start of the game, we actually discard four from the game. And this kind of gives you some variability to the gameplay because you don't know which ones are going to come up. But each one of these has different effects. If we look at this one here, this is the foiled card. And you play this after two players have um, extended their hands and chosen peace, war, first choice. If you play this from your hand, then the player's choices are cancelled and they have to start the contest again with the same cards. Now the thing is, these don't do anything until you win it. So first choice, take it here, or war, take all four. Okay. Um, let's go for war. So I'm going to go one, two, three. He's rolled first choice. Okay, so he's going to randomly choose one of these. Let's say one, two, three, four. Roll again. Two, so he takes this one, fills up his crockery, I get the rest. Okay, because of war. Well, that's good, because I've got three wine there. Actually, four wine. One, two, three, four. And I take this card. Let's deal. So it's my turn to deal. So you've got weapons, weapons, wine, musical instruments. Well, I'd be quite happy with either or one of those. So I'm going to say peace. Okay, he gets the three weapons. One, two, three. I get one of those, one of those. But that's all right. So I'm going to go peace. One, two, peace. He goes peace as well. All right, so that's worked out okay. But let's say he'd gone war. I don't want him to do that. Then I could then play this foiled and go, ah, let's go again. One, two, peace. And then hopefully he'll, roll, he'll, do, he'll choose something more advantageous to me. So, I mean, he could go war again. If he goes war again, there's a good chance that I would go war preempting that and everyone would get nothing. So he might choose peace this time, wanting these two cards. Yeah. So there's always bluff and counter bluff and trying to preempt. You know, we might make an agreement that that was mutually beneficial to the both of us. Okay. And so it goes on. And we're going to keep playing in this way until I'm going to go one, two, peace. He's gone war, so he takes everything, and I lose out. We're going to keep playing in this way. In actual fact, that's not worked terribly well in his favour because he's got a short of one here now. But that would be two points, yeah? That his shortest suit is, is two lots of one. Two lots of one is, is two. His longest suit, if we were to finish here, would be it's four here, four here, four here, five here. So that would be five plus two is seven. If the game were to end now, I would be scoring 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 10 twice, that's 20, okay, 2 lots of 5 for lowest and highest, 20 points, so I'd be on a good score right now, okay, but when does the game end? The game ends, we've got a couple of messages in a bottle here, the game ends as soon as our, where's it gone? our Dawn card is drawn into the tableau. Okay, as soon as it goes, we don't compete for these. As soon as it's drawn, that's it, game over. So look out for it. Dolores, this is an Asthma Day production from Eric Lang and Bruno Feduti. 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.